Hey guys, welcome to Strong with Raj, no nonsense strength training. So this was a very good session. As you can see on the left hand side, it says 175 kg squats is the plan. This was my live video and I was commenting. And uh, it was very good session for a variety of reasons. First of all, I was pain free. There was no stiffness and I had a very good sleep uh, prior to this. And uh, my girlfriend Inga, Dr. Inga Shara was there to help me. She was doing her squats and uh, helping me, um, you know, put up the plates and stuff like that. So it's always good. The gym wasn't very well packed and everything was feeling good. Uh, last session was very, very uh, disappointing because I had so much tightness and pain in my SI joint that I could only manage 140 kg. So I, uh, I sort of ride it off that session. And uh, prior to that, I had done 170 kg. So it made sense to go on to add weight, 175 kg. So I have uh, just noticed one thing about my warm-up sets. I think I need to rethink it and uh, do not take too long of uh, time in warm-up sets. I do think when I'm, my weight starts hitting 175, 180 kg, I don't want to risk being too exhausted already before my work sets. When I start my set first, which are warm-up sets, and then they start getting heavy around, let's say, 130, 140 kg, range i don't write them in my workout book as work sets but in my mind they are build up sets they are not just warm up i'm quite warm by then but i can't jump from 120 straight to 170 however i have watched uh, many other youtubers especially iwan uh, what a great legend he is he uh, he adds i think 20 kg jump 40 kg jump he'll add He'll go 60 kg, then he goes straight to 80 kg, then straight to 100 kg. And I might try that as well at some point, but I just like to just squat a lot. Um, and warm up is one way of doing it. I just do doubles, triples, doubles, triples, start with the empty bar, five reps. But I do understand that I do not want to be fatigued before my work set. So See if you can write some comment, if anything that you guys do, do you come across this uh, problem as well. But overall, uh, the session was going really well. This gym, <laughs> having a bit of fun with my girlfriend, this gym uh, is an amazing gym, very small, it doesn't get very crowded. The bumper plates are really big and fat and it fills up the whole sleeve of the bar and that makes it look like I'm <laughs> squatting something huge and gigantic. So there was some safety we were doing by putting plates on at the back because the squat rack is free hold, freestanding and my girlfriend is super worried at times so I had to just agree to her so that there's a counterbalance and the squat rack doesn't come collapsing or falls over me. Not a bad thing, just to be safe. So yeah, um, it is magical how some sessions are amazing and some sessions are full on battle. Just shit as the last one, which was not very good, 140 kg. So I was very, um, I had been very ambitious to keep adding weight without going light at all. But last time I had to go lighter, I had to go one, there you go. She adds more plate because she's so worried. Sometimes it's it doesn't help me because too much of concern on her can, makes me concerned. Um, however, I must say because the bar is resting on a safety pin, it is way further from the center of gravity of the squat racks. So it's not a bad idea. So yeah. It is amazing how each session is so different. Um, and I think a training experience, lifting sessions on a long enough scale reflect life or the experiences of life, good, 
bad up and down sad happy whatever uh, whatever word you want to use to describe so this was a high definitely a high not having pain when squatting and not having stiffness when squatting is is definitely a high and i can tell you that uh, this time around it has been very intense and this time around i feel that if i don't have this pain i would be doing this or that or i'll be lifting this heavy and all that and that's what i did i just kept on adding weight i think by this time i was doing singles and i was making jumps of 10 kgs so after 100 kgs i add 10 kgs and just do single 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 and uh, so you can do the maths within seven singles seven sets of one single warm ups i am up to my work weight so this is 165 and i don't think so many people do this i don't think many people go this close to their work set warming up so if somebody was doing 175 i think they will do 155 and then they whack on 20 kgs or maybe even um 145 and then so this was yes this is my 175 kg everything was going okay looking good nice walking nice and still and stable and there was a bit of a grunt loved it looking back um what i do refer to as my golden era of lifting 175 was never a problem and here i am struggling i'm almost a big fan of sets of 5 but i only did set of 4 but i i think of myself as if i'm on a rebuild phase where i have to get back to my weight the girlfriend was very happy i think she must have been extremely worried and then she was also videoing me we are very um, uh, full on about sharing our videos and analyzing our form together and uh, i'm open to all sorts of feedback so if you have any feedback about my squat the depth the form please go ahead i do take a fairly long time in be- between my sets so this is 155 loaded i think um and i needed that this session uh, by the end of it i don't think so i've covered it here i've done i did some overhead press and my girlfriend did her so it was like 2 3 hours in the gym and uh, the next day I was feeling it. Uh I was feeling the same day. <laughs> Very intense session it was. I think uh I needed that and from there on I needed to deload a little bit. Uh so it'll be interesting to see what weights I'll be entertaining in my mind to go on next. Will I go 180? Will I go lighter? Or will I go heavy like 180, 185 but do just a very few reps just manage a set of 3 or 2 so i was engaged with my girlfriend in about these kind of talks in between my sets and uh, there was no way i could do 175 kg and that's the frustrating part of this journey so far i'm not able to i have to have a back off set i have to go for a lighter set for what used to be a light not lightweight but a medium weight for me 175 I know I used to be able to do 175 sets of 5, 3 sets of 5, 4 sets of 5, but now it is just a top set and then I have to go to light. So uh I yeah, once 55 kg sort of made sense. So I went for it, still feeling good, not realizing uh, in few hours towards the evening I will be just a pancake. So here we go, 155 kg.
I like this angle. I can see the knees facing me. That makes me tells me that I'm I'm really pushing the knees out, not just forward, out, same direction as my toes are. Happy with that set, I think. Yeah, no problems. So guys, if you think you, you are enjoying my journey, if you think you are watching the videos and there is something useful and interesting, then please drop a like, comment, and do comment if, if there was something uh, that you are working on as well. If there is something, I think this is 155 again or 145. I'm not, I can't even remember. My highlight was 175. My back offsets, I didn't really care. I think this is 145. 55, that's right. So yeah, uh, there must be something that you are working on or have been wanting to, like I am working on my squats journey. Uh, please do like and share and comment about your journey and I will see you next time.